Good day people, welcome to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Now gold has surprised us in a bit that the correction that we were supposed to expecting in wave 4 has gone much deeper than expected. But if I'm looking at the price analysis, I'm still confident that the actual movement, the stronger movement is going to upwards. So because of the price movement, we are it looks like that we are seeing that wave 1 will complete over here wave 2 complete over here, wave 3 complete over here, wave 4 is probably already complete or we might see a little push further down just a bit and then push upward. So that's going right now wave 4. If it looks like that, that means it's an ending diagonal, ending expanded diagonal. So next move, if it is an expanded diagonal, expanding ending diagonal, the next move could be really strong all the way up in this region either this region once again our target is in this region or it could be extended over in this region to both possibilities exist the thing is if you look at it this is not an impulse movement the structure is yet not complete in gold once have a look once again if you haven't seen my previous analysis then we were actually looking for a flat correction after an impulse wave so that's the impulse wave that you were talking about this is the wave a of a flat correction expanded flat correction this is wave B of the expanded flat correction and then you are expecting exp wave C of the expanded flat correction. You are expecting that 18, 19, 1830 would hold but it hasn't held yet and the prices have come fallen. Does that, that does not mean that the correction pattern is complete. It only means that we are seeing a different pattern than you were expected in the wave C area. Initially we thought we could, it just could be an impulse wave, it looks like that more kind of an expanded ending diagonal. So wave 1 right over here, wave 2 that gives us wave 3, wave 4 and then we are going to see a push up inwards as wave 5. So I'm pretty confident as far as my analysis is concerned but we still have to look at the price analysis and that is if price goes deeper than this 1793 area that will actually negate our analysis it will tell us there's something significant significantly wrong with the analysis and we'll have to come back and revise that but i'm pretty confident the prices are going to go up especially today as of friday and next couple of days as well let's have a look at silver silver is also uh, just not ready to move in the direction. We thought the correction was complete right over here. Silver is on an important part. Let's have a look what's happening. So if the correction is not complete over here, that means you, the, the, the down lag that you're expecting down here could go right over here in this direction. This is a possibility that the price movement could go in further area in the next few hours and then jump up. Other possibility is that if this the correction ended right over here that actually started from over here that would case we have the leg that, that will come down the price movement it is not expected to go strongly down so just a little push down in this region and then bounce back off. So I'm expecting that we might have a little pull back in silver and then the prices would rise in silver once the rise is complete of course you are bearish in in silver for the next few days are looking really bullish for silver it's a pretty zigzag pattern wave a wave b and then wave c so once that is complete it's going to give us good good crash in silver as well thank you so much for visiting and have a good one enjoy your friday see you guys in a couple of days bye bye